Hello and welcome to another Wargame Red Dragon video with me, Bubblebox. And today we're continuing with the Bubble and Silver Dude deck series. And once again, me and Silver are joined by Vulcan from Vulcan HD Gaming. Hi, Vulcan. Hello. Please check out Vulcan's channel in the description below, especially if you're into the Wargame series, Civilization, and a number of other playthroughs that he does on his channel. But today... He's going to be helping us and talking us through with us the Polish deck. So let's, without further ado, get into this. We'll start off with the um, with the support. Sorry, with the logistics. Even uh, Vulcan, do you want to head off this time with the logistics? Yeah. So to begin with, I have the infantry uh, command unit. I have them in the MIT and. Like I was saying before, in I like to have infantry as a command because they are really, really versatile. And you can put them in places that other command units would be spotted. And also uh, for things like the armor-piercing artillery, you if you have infantry like in the location that's being RT'd, it won't get affected by the artillery. So yeah. in that case, they can be useful if you are being affected by that. Um, I, of course, have the an armored TV as well. I have the Scott R3. And the reason I have this is because it is extremely fast. It has 95 kilometers speed off-road, <laughs> which is incredible. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and, road, um, what road? <laughs> and 150 km per hour speed on road so yeah also has the amphibious capability which again makes it more versatile really good for sneaking it into certain sectors on different maps yep and a fast uh, amphibious ability as well for yeah eight. exactly yeah, yeah. then I have uh, FOB I'm cool. not sure if you guys have FOBs I do I'll tell you in a minute and <laughs> and I have the Star 266 ZAOPs um, just because I like to have uh, ground supply. I was tempted to take the MI8s uh, like I have in my East German deck, but I really like the Stars because they're cheap and you get quite a lot of them and you can sort of, you know, have them going backwards and forwards if you micro them properly. Yeah. Right. And Silver, have you got anything a little bit different, perhaps, in the command section? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. I decided just to go for the T-72 M1D. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's a bold. Uh, yeah, that is. Uh, these things can kind of uh, almost fight on the front lines a little bit with its HE power of 4. It can definitely defend itself against uh, infantry running across the bush and all that stuff. They just they keep these hidden enough. They're decent enough to especially survive artillery strikes and everything like that okay uh, yeah they're definitely one of the best command tanks that you can get in the game actually because of the four he power cool all right yep. i think that, and, uh, that, yeah I, I also got two stacks of mi6s because i just like to have the most amount of supply that i can squeeze out of my points and this is what these things can with two stacks of four car uh two cards of four of each Okay, cool. Well, I've got the uh, the infantry in MI8s as well, same as Vulcan. I've got the Star trucks, the 266s, the ZAOPs. I've got a set of MI6s, and uh -oh, I've got two FOBs. Uh, you'll see why when we get to the support section. But anyway, let's I'm, move... I'm imagining lots of artillery. Let's move forward to the <laughs> infantry. And uh, I think uh, we're going to swap it around a bit. So, Silva, are you going to do the infantry first this time? Yep. Uh, first off, I'm going to have what you two are definitely going to have. Well, I know Vulcan will. I don't know about you, Bubble. Uh, the Commandozi. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Literally the nearly the best infantry in the game. Uh, uh, it's all around able to take on basically anything except uh, helicopters at range. And uh, But I actually got them in MI-24Ds because these are quite expensive infantry that um they I are now to, yeah i want to remind myself whenever i bring these in not to throw them away willy-nilly so i got them in expensive helicopters so i know for a fact that i want to keep these guys alive uh and not suicide them 
I'm, I'm going to be honest and, and say that I hate that logic. <laughs> 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 like, you're making a 35-point unit cost how much? Like 90, like 90 points, is that? Yeah. Yeah, 90, 90, 90 points. points. That's, that's but, ridiculous. But the MI-24, the at Elite, I've just been uh, using it more and more, and I've been very pleased with the results, so, yeah. I guess, it, I guess. It sort of forces you to use helicopters, which aren't normally used. Um, yeah, I, I've got mine in Scott twos, and I've only actually got one card of them because I like to diversify my infantry. I actually got mine in sock holes, so we've all got them in something slightly different. Yeah, mainly because I'm trying to get them into the front line fairly quickly. Yeah. Yeah, the sock holes are the fastest helicopter yeah. you can bring them in. I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, as far as the uh, the twenty the uh, silver raptors chopper. I think it really does depend on what the enemy brings in at the beginning. I mean, if they bring in anti-air helicopters, you're a bit screwed. But if they just bring in a load of kind of infantry without AA support, you've got it made. So I don't know, it's kind of swings and roundabouts a little bit with that one. But they are very, very expensive to bring in in those choppers, yeah. What else have yeah. you got, Silver? Well, mainly I didn't want to use my common duty as a frontline unit. Uh, what my main frontline unit was actually going to be is the... Uh... Near Besky Betertees and yeah. Topaz uh, 2As. And the reason why I got the Topaz 2As is that uh, recoilless rifle, uh, HG power and AP power, I just thought that it could provide just a little bit of extra support while these uh, infantry are getting into the buildings or keep APCs away. Yeah. Okay. I, I really like the Topaz 2A. Um, I, I, I opted for the Topaz with the Nibisky and Beretti, but um, the Topaz 2A is, is really nice. I, I like that all the way back from like. European escalation it used to be really, really overpowered. Mm -hmm. And then I've got some PPZR Grom uh, anti-air squads in Topaz 2As as well. Okay. I don't actually have any infrared AA on my uh, well, decks, like um, ground AA, like uh, manpad squads. I just I don't feel like I need them anymore. Um, with the with people focusing a lot more on aircraft rather than helicopters, infrared AA is just becoming more and more obsolete. Okay, anything else, Silver? Uh, no, that's my uh, entire uh, squad right there. Two Comatozi, two uh, Berties, oh, and yeah, one yeah. AA squad. And have you got anything different than that, uh, Falcon? Well, I've got some uh, Strelsi Podhalansi. Um, these are basically the light rifleman equivalent. Oh yeah. In the Polish, so okay. I like to have those, and I bring them in in Sokols because I think these are really good for like the the, the forward helicopter pushes because they have that diversity in the fact that they can you know pick off the APCs that are coming down the yeah. road and you know also take on the infantry pretty well as well because they are regular infantry and they have you know the PKM. The idea is that you would get these squads in before. You you don't really want to use these to push into a town because yeah, get them out, really get them out of the start of the game. I guess yeah, yeah exactly yeah. yeah yeah sure sure um and just for fortifying positions they're really really useful. Um, then I also have the Sapersi, uh, mainly due to the fact that I love having napalm launchers on my deck. I think they're really really powerful for yeah. pushing into towns, and them like supporting some Nabisky Berettis would be like perfect for like hitting a town hard. Sure. Um, because the Nabiskis are the, the shock infantry of the po Polish. What have you got and them then in? finally, I also have the SPG 9D squads. And um, I think the like long, longer range, was it like recoilless rifles are just really underrated. Like the tank, like think about like the tanker shashel uh, of was it China? I think they're from. Yeah. Um, they have a really nice recordless rifle that can fire at both infantry and at the like um more like apcs not so much tanks but apcs and it, killing apcs really quickly is really effective for like shutting down like pushes into Definitely. towns mm -hmm. yeah. so that's why i like to have the spg nines for and also for assaulting towns as well they can be useful for staying out of range of enemy um like machine guns and they can still fire, so right. you know you can you can assault them from a distance, which is really nice. I've actually yeah. found that uh, more often you're destroying APCs with <coughs> infantry rather than tanks because no one with a mine will send a tank into the middle of a town. Exactly, yeah. 
Okay, I think that's pretty much covered all my units as well. Apart from I've got some PPK Conkers in my deck. I've got the Commandoses, two decks of uh, Nibierskis, the Panzergroms, and I've also got these Conkers in MI7s, I think. Yeah, that's it for me. So let's move on to the support. Whose turn is it now? I think it's back to Sylv... No, it's back to Vulcan, isn't it? Yeah, support Vulcan. What have you got? <laughs> uh, so I have the 90-point Danas, I think... Yeah. They are the most, you know, cost effective artillery. You know, they are the best piece of how it's a, like artillery I think you can get. Um, uh, these are what uh inspired me to make my Eastern Bloc support deck way back when. Yeah, and, and the great thing is they, they have that like again, it's speed. Like I love I love mobility. Um you know, they, they don't get hit by enemy counter artillery because you can move them so quickly, it's brilliant. Um and they fire like really well you know like they have like five rounds per minute which is pretty standard uh, but the seven he power is just like really good for a 90 point artillery unit they actually used to have 60 rounds instead of 50 which made them really good yeah well they've still got 50 which isn't too shabby is it yeah and also the you know the speed allows them to just drive back to the base anyway <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah quickly um then uh, i'm that's my artillery i think that's the only artillery piece i have uh, right. Then uh, moving on to like anti air, I've got the 9K 33M2 ROM, uh, which is the 40 point radar AA. Basically, because Same it has logic. seven, yeah, seven HE power, really good at soaking up seed missiles, really good at actually shooting down seed aircraft because there's so many of them all the time. Um, then moving on from that, we have the, I actually have the Hib Nerd. Hibnert ZUR 2322S and the 25 point oh, right. box with the ZU23 on the back. Yeah. And the reason I like these is because that auto cannon on the back of the truck can actually be used to like support infantry as you're pushing into towns and stuff. And the infrared missile is, you know, al alongside that for for only a 25 point unit is you know really really useful. And, and it's fast. Yeah, and it, it keeps up with uh, the infantry troop carriers and can provide the fire support on the ground and in the air. So if they bring in, like, any um, helicopters to, like, defend or even, you know, if they bring over some aircraft, you know, you can get a few shots off with that uh, ZU-23. So that's really nice. Okay, so maybe a bit comparable to the USA's Avenger, maybe? I don't know. Mm. Um, yeah, maybe not. Maybe uh, not quite as good. Not to, not, certainly not to look at, but it's only 25 points, but you, but you can bring it in at the beginning with your with your rush units. Yeah, and you have 14 town. of them on a card, yeah. which is yeah, uh, that's, really, yeah. really useful for spreading them around. Okay, cool. Um, then I have the Maz 543 Newer SC, which I like the Uber... Uh, <laughs> beast like looking radar, thing look yeah. at it it's it's, yeah. a, it's an absolute beast it's basically like a patriot <laughs> pretty much um it's something that they brought in in the latest dlc i think um yeah, yeah the last the last one and it has that like nine he power it's just you know really really strong and as long as you keep something else to soak up seed missiles or you know you just turn it off um it's relatively safe because it's so far away it's 4550 meter range is uh, pretty incredible. With yeah. those ROMs, yeah. yeah. Is that um, it? Then yeah. I have a fifth card, which is the Sopels. I have the Sopels. Yes. Um, the Sopel. Uh, I, I don't. I, I'm not sure if it's really my favorite Polish unit, but I just think it. It's so cost effective. Like if you look, compare it to like the Strela, um, which is like a 50 point. You have just infrared missiles and then you look at the Sopel and you have infrared missiles and the ZU-23 and the ZU-23 makes up for the one less damage you're going to get from your infrared missile and it's a lot more reliable um, at hitting things uh, because you know it fires so quickly so the accuracy you know um, e even though it says 25% accuracy because you're firing faster you have more chance to hit yeah yeah and so it generally does more like damage per second than a normal Strela. Okay. Um, also, it's fast. It has the amphibious capability. Um, just uh, overall great unit. Yep. Cool. Anything a bit different than that, then Vulcan? Uh, sorry, Silver. 
I've got the Sopel, yes. I've got the two stacks of Donna's because uh, I just the Donna's are really good artillery. But uh, I did not get the uh, MAZ uh, Nua. I got actually the 80.1 down, and that's because it's just slightly a bit armored and it has the same stats with the missiles, and I just decided to get them 10 points cheaper. And uh, unlike Vulcan, I don't think like speed is. Uh, I prefer to have durability a bit over speed, but it's to whoever uh, pr uh, pr prefers. Yeah, on yeah. Just the speed is important if you're trying to get out of the way of artillery. But yeah, I mean, there's the but same it's thing. It's armored. just a lot slower, basically. It's also armored a bit, so a bit, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, very, so, it's very well armored. It, it's yeah, it's going to take a, a few hits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Unlike cool. yours, which is going to die uh, on the first mortar. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, is it me? Right. Okay. I've got pretty much a similar. Uh, well, I haven't got similar AA. I've got the new the uh, MAZ five four three new car SC as we've already been talked about by Vulcan. Uh, but I've got the Strellas, I'm afraid, or the Strazzlers. Um, but looking at the stats, and after you spoke, I think I'm tempted to swap them out, but I'm not going to. Go because ahead. We're not, because we're not allowed to, because we've got to go with what we've gone with. Um, it's so pale. It's so yeah. good. You can I know. You can no, I'm not switching. I'm not switching. <laughs> Um, as far as artillery, I've got the Darners, the same, exactly the same as you two guys. A really nice artillery piece for the Polish. And then I've uh, got the, yeah, I'm going to take some flack here, the RM70s. That's why I've got mm -hmm. two two fobs for their AP rocket launchers. <laughs> and the BM, yeah, yeah, I know, the BM21 grads. Um, so I've got that's why I've got my two fobs because I've got a lot of artillery in this deck. So you guys can do all the fighting and I'll do all the throwing things from uh, behind the lines. Well, <laughs> it's fine if he has so much, uh, uh, especially the RM70s. If you have so much spread out, where is the enemy going to run the tanks to? There's just no rockets are going to follow left, right, center, front, back, everywhere. Yeah, we'll, we'll see I what was, happens. With I was those. really hoping you were going to say the BM24M, not the BM21 grad. Because oh, I, no. No. I, wow. I actually like the BM24M as like a napalm launcher unit. If you have like a couple of them, it does just as much as a Buratino, basically. <laughs> yeah, I do. The yeah. problem is, is the napalm's so spread out in little patches that infantry can just walk over to the next building to avoid it. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. That's why you need uh, a couple of them. Yeah, I have used those BM24 rounds before. They, they can be effective. Yeah, they can. they're not too bad. But yeah, I didn't get those. But that's it for my support. So let's move on to the tanks. And I think it was Silver. You're going to head off for the tanks? Yep. I've got the PT-9120 because of its armor. It's the most expensive Polish tank. I'm sure you guys have that as well. Yeah. Yep. I also then went down uh, to get for medium, uh, uh, medium heavy tank is the T72 M2 Wilk, uh, 125 points, uh, to kind of to support up the Twardy. One thing I liked about the Twardy is you can get four of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Uh, and then I also got a medium tank, the T72 M1 uh, Wilk. Which, uh, you know, supplements the M2. Yep, okay. And then finally, I'm getting into the more lighter side. I got the T55 uh, Meridia uh, to help support that. And then I've got the PT76B uh, Descent because Ooh. it has a stabilizer. 15. It's like the C34, but with a stabilizer. Okay, I think that's a terrible tank, but yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, this, is the, this is the rush at the enemy uh, to see what fires back. The other yeah. tanks will shoot at it, and this thing can also fire on the move as well. So it's basically a kind of suicide scout uh, tank. Okay, brilliant. Good. Um, I said Gaddafi, you just messaged me. Um, Vulcan. Um, I've definitely, yeah, I've got the Twardy. I don't know, like, I guess that the T72 M2 Wilk is, is a really nice tank. But I really like just paying that 10 point more to get the uh, H gem from the T72S. I think it's I think it's worth that 10 point 10 points more. You do lose five percent on your gun accuracy, but you also get like more armor as well. So you know yeah. you're kind of getting more for your money, but you're kind of losing a little bit of an accuracy for it as well, which. Um, you know, for me, I really, I really just like having that HGM capacity, especially if you micromanage it so that when you fire um, and you turn off your main gun, so it fires the HGM, 
and then you can turn on the main gun and it'll fire the main gun again. Right. And you can have the HGM flying at the same time as you're firing a main gun, which is really, really useful. Well, um, one thing about the M2 is that it has a, a little higher rate of fire than the T-72S Oh, yeah, as yeah, well. there is that as well, yeah. Yeah, I went for the Twardy T-72S combo as well, actually, in my tanks, yeah. Okay, well, 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 well so we're, we're different. Yeah. I do, I do have the T-72 M1 Wilk. So have I, uh, yeah. As well, so... Uh, that matches these map, uh, silver in that case. Um, but I have the T-72s uh, mainly as sort of disposable tanks. Um, in this case, I, I didn't want to take the T-72M, which is a better value for money by like a long way. But the reason I have the, T the normal T-72 is because it's cheaper. And in this particular deck, I would need the T-72s as close fire support and using T-72Ms is costly so <laughs> the only thing the t72s have is their 4 he power yeah. but the meridia which is 5.4 has a longer a lot longer range gun and that's like i said i'd like to have the longer range tank uh gun than uh anything else yeah, so yeah. that they can engage at range yeah the reason i have t72s though is is for the the infantry support capacity so that it right. can you can take out infantry in towns very well and you would have the descent <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but th those T-72s, they are, they're they good value for money, I think, just for 45 points. The I mean, reason they're... I don't like the Descent is because it doesn't have a machine gun. I think that, that really holds it back. If it had a machine gun and it was maybe like five points more expensive to have, like to cater for that machine gun, I, I might actually like it. But yeah, you know, it's just the fact that it's like it's got worse armor than the T-34 and it's just overall like weaker in my opinion because it yeah. doesn't have the machine I don't, gun yeah, <laughs> yeah i don't well, i don't like it it's got a stabilizer but i still think but it's that's just the, gonna that's get the reason up. why i got it it's just fire on the move just throw it at the enemy see what shoots at them and then i can figure out how to get rid of it and proceed forward okay well i'll throw one into the mix then because i've got my twardy my t72s and my t72mi wilks as well but then i've got two cards of T55Ls, which have a stabilizer and a machine gun. Now they do cost 25 points, but this is the spam tank for me, really, in this deck. If you want to yeah. spam tanks, I'll go for I this like one. That, I like that choice, yeah. to be honest. I, it's, got, I, uh, it's got a bit of armor as well. Yeah, the seven front armor for 25 points is actually really good. <laughs> yeah, it's almost so... as good as the nine front armor you get on like a Centurion, is it? On like the swedish deck yeah. like one of the centurions have like really high oh, that, that's yeah that's right price. yeah yeah um so and, yeah this is kind of like that and i've actually got 20 48 of them if i want to bring them out <laughs> if i ever get that many exactly points. yeah you, yeah you, you have a lot of them on a card a lot of them so that's uh is that it with the tanks i think we've covered the tanks there haven't we guys yep actually, if my math is correct that's to be 58 not 48 uh, 40, 58, that's right, yeah. On to the recon. Whose turn is it? Vulcan! Off with the recon, yeah. Um, okay, so to kick off, I have the... <laughs> I don't know I don't know why, why I have this, because I, I actually don't like it that much, but the MI2 row, it's, it's an exceptional mm. recon helicopter for 60 points. That's why you buy it, because it's so cheap. Yeah. But the worst part about it is to, it's a 60-point Air, like helicopter that can be shot down with one missile yeah risky and yep. that just kills me every time <laughs> um, i guess because it's exceptional recon you can kind of hold it back more but then you know in some cases it might be worth paying like 20 points more for the armed salamandra yeah that's what i got yeah in order to get like very good recon and also it can take an extra missile hit um but... and provide actual anti-tank anti-infantry support yeah um, but the MI2 row, if you keep it, if you're careful with it, it can pay off. Then uh, with that, I have the BWR1D <coughs> Exceptional Recon. Again, Me too. it's mainly because of the lack of very good recon APCs that the Polish have. If the Polish had a very good recon uh, APC, then I would take that instead. But uh, because they don't, the exceptional recon BWR will have to do. I would prefer not to bring it in because it's, you know, expensive and they do get popped quite easily by tanks. 
and because they they're not exactly the smallest thing you know they have the medium size which makes them easy to medium spot style. Medium yeah style. yeah yeah it's, it's just it's just not great you know like <laughs> i much rather they were small um so that they you know had a like st- smaller hip percentage yeah yeah sure what else have you got? Yep. And two. then I have uh, two cards of uh, Formosa. Yeah. Yes. Just, you, the you, Navy Seals. Yeah, of, you really uh, Red can't Corps. ignore them. <laughs> they have the uh, the forty millimeter frag grenade launchers, which are just brilliant, and they are elite and very high rate of fire for both yeah. the regular machine gun and light machine. Yeah, gun. they just chew apart anything. They're firing on the move. You know, like the accuracy is the same as the stabilizer, so. They don't Good lose assault. anything by running around. Um, yeah, their, their CQC machine gun also has 25%. It's just, they're just incredibly good. The only thing that really chews up a Formosa squad is like Spetsnaz um, and the Lijuan. But, but um, you're not going to be fighting them normally. True. Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> yeah. That might be an interesting DLC. Yeah, but uh, that's for another day. What do you mean? Not like fighting Red Bull versus Red Bull? Yeah. Oh, sorry, you can fight Red Bull. What am I yeah, talking about? I'm being a dumbass. <laughs> I'm being a dumbass. Okay. So Probably got... the ether block defects to NATO side. Yeah, so you got... So you got... <laughs> yeah, because, because that generally doesn't happen. You know, yeah. they're, they're, that's what makes them so strong. Yeah. So it's brilliant. So that's two infantry yeah. and your chopper. And anyway, your... that's it for me. Yeah. Okay. I've got four cards. Silver? Silver? Have you got oh, anything what... different? Uh, nope. I got the uh, Formosas and MI-17s. Uh, you know, because those rocket pods are pretty good as well. Uh, I've got the Salamandra. I've got the BWR. I've also got uh, Z1 Dicey, uh, other recon uh, unit. Uh, these are mainly meant to go separately as a scout out uh, through forest and everything, and they can kind of hold their own if they encounter anything in that forest. But yeah, other than that. That's my recon. Yeah, I've got the two Formosas, one in chopper, one in a ground unit, and I've got the Salamandra. Yeah, I do. I don't like those MI2 rows much, really, but I've still got the Salamandra. And then I've got my cheap land one, my cheap truck, the Brom one. Only 10 points, get a fair few of them, and uh, they're pretty nippy around the map, um, and they can shoot... At Anything they're going to come across, not very well, but they can defend themselves slightly. So that's why I got those. Really, is that my four recon? Um, yeah. Um, w- one thing to say about the uh, twenty-point recon unit is that they are shock infantry, which makes them incredibly good against taking on other like regular infantry squads in forests, yeah. which is why. <clears throat> yeah, which is why you were saying they were they were really good uh, right, holding yeah. their own. Didn't notice that. Yeah, I've kind of yeah, they're very good holding their own. Yeah. and they have the RPG instead of the frag grenade, so they don't have to worry if they encounter an APC or anything. They can take that out quickly. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to use the regular infantry recon quite regularly, but I've kind of gone off it lately because of the slow speed. It tends to be a little bit too slow getting around the place, getting out of trouble if they're spotted and stuff. That's the only reason I've gone off them. But yeah, they're certainly good infantry in their own right. Yeah. On to right. the onto the vehicles. Um, it's me. It's you. Off you go. I just got the conquerors. Okay, that was nice and easy. <laughs> what have you got, Vulcan? <laughs> I got the I got the ZSU fifty two or fifty seven twos. Um, I, they're just great ground. You support. You know they have. Um, I, I debated over that, but I figured I had enough uh, uh, anti air with the Sopel, and I would have figured you'd have enough with your little uh, twenty five. Uh, Liberty trucks or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just have them because I like them as well. You know, they're they're just an extra unit that you can dot around, good for base defense stuff like that. Um, then I have the TO fifty fives as well, the flame tanks uh, oh, yeah. to take on infantry in towns and in forests and stuff from longer range. Okay, yeah, I've got the uh, Brom two Conkers, and I've got the ZSU fifty seven twos as well mainly because i couldn't think of anything else to spend the points on but <laughs> i do get these zsu 57 twos they're a nice little supplement to your anti-air and they can shoot at uh infantry and in that as well if they get in range they're yeah they have decent. two he power yeah so when they hit units on the ground they chew them up very quickly yeah yeah the only thing i don't like about these against helicopters is they do give helicopters a bit of a chance because they've got quite a well I think they've got quite a slowish rate of fire. They get off a little burst and they kind of stop and then they go another little burst and between the two bursts, sometimes the chopper takes them out. But 
Yeah, they're, they're a good. They're, but then again, they're only twenty points. So what do you expect, really? Nothing. Right. And they are a little bit armored. So yeah. On to the helis then. Uh, All right. Off you go. Welcome to your turn. Um, I have two cards of the W three W suckles. Yes. Uh, kind of needed in this deck to stop yourself being heli rushed and. They're just, you know, having the infrared missiles on the helicopter is always really good. Uh, the 4 HP power, you know, I wish it was 5, but, you know, 4 does nicely, um, especially when you have enough of them. The, their cost is a little high. Uh, at 75 points, It's quite they're quite expensive choppers, and it's mainly because they have the 80mm rockets. But those 80mm rockets, again, they're great. Like, if, if a heli rush comes towards you and you have Sockles, and a couple of the infantry squads actually manage to land for whatever reason, then you have those 80mm rockets, and they will absolutely annihilate the infantry squads on the ground uh, with the help of the 23mm autocannon. So, just yeah. all in all, quite a, a, like a really solid unit. Yeah. But my, my thought was, is if you do sort of a helicopter rush, get you... It, they don't do a hot helicopter rush with those rockets, and they're trundling in in a convoy on the road. Those rockets can help slow down or decimate that convoy while yeah. your infantry gets set up. Yeah, that's the other great thing. Yeah, that's a good point. When you when you're actually making your own helicopter push, um, they help support it really well because they aren't like a Z nine eighty Y ninety, which only has the infrared missiles, and therefore they are completely redundant if the enemy doesn't have enemy like anything aircraft or like. Um, any helicopters. Um, in this case, like the Sokol can actually support the ground forces as well, um, which makes them more useful than like a Z980, Y90 uh, from like the Chinese, for example. Yep. Cool. Um, then the other thing I have is the MI24W. Yes. Um, best attack chopper that you can buy. And, um, you know, 55% accurate COCOM missiles. Um, just, you know, in general, a great attack chopper for those situations where you need one okay good and that's it for your choppers yeah yeah silver anything different that well, sounds like you got the nope. same okay yes i've got the mi24 w's as well really really nice chopper of course and i've got a controversial choice coming up i have got oh boy the mi2 urp g Gnowskis, however you pronounce that now there is a reason behind it it's because you can bring these out and they can do a little bit of everything. They can't do it very well, but they can do a little bit of everything. So whether that makes them a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not <laughs> sure. They've only got a strength of four. They're quite slow, but they can fire on the move. Fire, yeah, they can the fire speed. They can fire everything on the move. So I'll just keep them moving. And um, But they've got Strellas. They've got anti-tank missiles. I've got them in at uh, Harden. So I'm going to try them out. And I've got two cards of them as well. It's it's the speed that kills it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to bubble, I'm just going to file this under the insanity for the reason that you got these and move on. Well, should I tell you what? <laughs> you watch when I put five or six of these just behind your infantry, and a bomber comes in. Watch these I things think... shoot down that bomber. That's all I'll say. <laughs> these are like uh, uh, the reason. These used to be good, right? And the only reason they used to be good was like in European escalation was because they were only the only aircraft I think in the game that had infrared missiles. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna prove you all wrong in the game. I'm gonna prove you all wrong. <laughs> this is the free HG power as well. It makes me want to just like cry, you know. <laughs> the only thing it does have going for it is an auto cannon, but that's it. Yeah, yeah. I I I don't know. I don't know. Just... We'll see. We'll see. I think Good luck. I think it's a fantastic little, <laughs> little chopper. Okay, let's move swiftly on to the aircraft. Um, Vulcan, I think is it. Oh, I can't remember who's turn. Silver. No, Silver. No, onto the onto the aircraft. What have you got? I've got those Mig twenty nines that uh, are fifty points cheaper in this one. Yes, that, uh, yes. Yeah, I've got them as now, well. Now, looking at these, I can see the difference is that these, while they have longer range uh, missiles, these are semi-active, whereas the other ones were fire and forget missiles. Is probably the reason for the price difference. Ah, uh, uh, yes, right, maybe. yes, good point. Yeah, but uh, those for the air superiority fighters. Um, and then I've got the SU-22 with its TV-guided missiles uh, to take out uh, uh, tanks and everything for that. And then the regular SU-22 seed aircraft with its four seed and the 40% ECM for only 100 points. That is a very good choice in my opinion. Okay. And then the SU-70 
BKL with its eight napalm, so I could just cover the entire area with napalm and then uh, cook hot dogs. Okay, that cool. is exactly the same as mine. Every oh, wow. every single card. Okay, <laughs> I've got slightly different. Um, I think you went for the SU twenty two, did you? M four. Yeah. M four P yeah, and M four. Yeah. yeah, I've gone for the M four Serie twenty because it's far and forget. That's or Serie thirty. Yeah, thirty. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's why I have. Yeah, as well. because it's far and forget. Whereas the other, and it's got a longer range, so it is more. But I think it's worth the extra few points. Oh no, I, I got the I got the Serie thirty. Oh, you did. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, so got, we've got the same then. That's fine. Brilliant. Okay, that's about it. I think. So it's time to choose your favourite weapon. And I'm not going to choose the MI2 URP Ganowski, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, you guys go first because I haven't thought about this. So I need to have a look through my deck quickly. So do you want to go first this time, Silver? What's your favourite weapon? The Donna's. Because ever since I first uh, made the support deck and used the Donna's, they've always done well. I've never had a moment where I was disappointed with them. Okay. Yeah, that, I, I like that choice. But um, for me, it's probably... Uh, it's a hard one. I want to say the Commandozi, uh, mainly just because they are the Beast. best like, like elite infantry, in my opinion, that you can get in the game, possibly. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> then they're cheaper now, too. They used to be 40 points, not 35. Um, the, the the other one that I was thinking of is is the Formosa. I really love the Formosa. Again, thirty five points. I, I, the, like the Polish have the best elite infantry in the game, in my opinion. Yes, they do. So what are you going to um, go for then? So for me, it's like between the Commandosi and the Formosa, and I don't think you could make me choose. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, before you said that, I already had mine already up on screen, and I'm definitely going for the Commandosi in this deck. Yeah. There you go, Vulcan. You can get them for Mota. Yeah, best, I'll, I'll best infantry, <laughs> best infantry around, best infantry around the Commandos. Yeah, I love them. Okay, well, thanks very much. Okay, so yes, yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks to Vulcan as well for taking part in this video. Please check out his channel. Link in the description below. Thank you all for watching. Please do leave a comment and like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see you in the next one.